YTPC Padre Piper coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube to say, hello YouTube pipe smoking community. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're finding all the blessings that the Lord has in store for you. A little house cleaning, smoking today, uh, this... Um, Gardasina, is that how it's pronounced, I believe? This is the Bianca uh, line. It's a, a 310. You know what? Basically, this is a, a basket pipe, best I can tell, from uh, Pipes and Cigars. Um, and <laughs> for the price, uh, just an incredible smoker. I, that always amazes me, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this, that... Uh, you spend a couple hundred dollars on, you know, some fancy schmancy pipe that seems like it takes forever to break in, and even after it's broken in, somehow or another, it, it it finds a way to disappoint, and you get some forty dollar basket pipe that just uh, you can throw it through the ringer, and it just does. Here's why I like this pipe. I don't remember the history of why I got this pipe, how I got this pipe, what I smoked in this pipe. What I remember is a couple of years ago smoking some Kramer's Father Dempsey in it. And I remember how good that smoke was. And so since then, this pipe has exclusively smoked Kramer's Father Dempsey and does it so well, so well. And I don't know if you guys uh, are fans of Father Dempsey or not. It's a, a fantastic English blend. Uh, just, just, um, I remember the first time I tried it, I remember thinking to myself, where have you been all this time? It's, uh, it's good, good stuff. Pardon me while I like, yeah. This is a bit of a shout out also to Bo over at Country Squire Tobacconist. I noticed the lighter he used on International Pipe Smoking Day. Hello over to John David at the Country Squire as well. But old Bo, he wasn't afraid to use something that looked like it might have been borrowed. And that's the key term there, because you know who you are. Borrowed from the supply closet from the Acolyte storage at your church. Ah, uh, anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm not going to be long today. I, um... Enjoying a quick smoke. Went out to the mailbox and what did I find? The newest catalog from Pipes and Cigars. Oh my, look at the back here. Beautiful uh, Stanwells on sale. Those are, uh, those are beauties. I like my Stanwells too. Got to tell you, really, really do enjoy those pipes. Knocked over something else because also in the mail was a wonderful package that I'm going to do a very quick yabo on. It's from none other than, look at that lovely emblem there, huh? Cane Rod Piper. I'm going to go ahead and put the pipe down because it's probably going to end up going out on me because I can't pay proper attention to it and talk to you at the same time. I need a third arm or something to do that. Includes a little bro note. Says, uh, Dear Padre, I hope this uh, finds you well. Here's a small thank you for the chance... Uh, to try your excellent Rector's Blend. Well, thank you, sir. And I know there's uh, several of you out there who have received that and have asked about it. And uh, I am in the midst of planning on doing a video on how I concocted that because it's not just an ingredients thing. It's not like it's overly complex, but there's an extra step or so in there that I think have really helped uh, those, those, that blend, let's just put it that way. And so I want to do it properly and, and I'll put it to video. Um, and uh, anybody out in the community who, uh, wants to try it can try it. And, and once they know what I've done, then they can tweak it to their own sort of, uh, their own sort of liking. But, uh, Kane Rod was, uh, offering some thanks for that. And he says a very small thank you for all you do for the YTPC and the enth enthusiastic way you spread the love and joy of the Lord. And he says, tobaccos included are, and this is incredible. This is, let me pull these out and show you here. Here's a little sample he sent over. Boy, that's a good looking cookie there, huh? Isn't that beautiful? And here's another little sample he sent over. 
And then a third one, which is in this sort of um, plug sort of form. So let's read on and find out what these three are. Uh, number one, original lane number 10 Downing Street from 2010. Now what's, a, what's interesting about this is um, I've never had this. And so thank you, Cane Rod Piper, for allowing me a chance to sample some of this. When you go to tobaccoreviews.com, it lists this as currently available, but it's not. It's not currently available anywhere. And so Cane Rod is missing it because he liked it. Uh, but let's see, it says, uh, he says, this was my favorite blend for a long time. While I don't smoke Latakia very often these days, this is the blend I'm dreaming of when I do. It is sadly gone and much missed. Yet on tobaccoreviews.com, this is currently available, but you can't find it. It's it's not available, so that's incorrect on the uh, the website. Number two, he says, is not number ten Downing Street. <laughs> this was my attempt to create a similar blend based on Lane BS 5 It's not a very good match in my opinion, but I think it makes for what is a good smoke. And I'll take that as an opportunity to explain a little bit about the Rector's blend that is referenced in here several months ago, too long ago actually, I made an attempt or started an attempt at um, trying to match the original Frog Morton and um, it was bad. I mean, it was bad in the sense that I wasn't getting closer, but what happened was over time I, I kept getting something that was actually a little bit enjoyable. So I finally I threw the towel and said I'm not going to try to make this Frog Morton's blend anymore. I'm just gonna keep tweaking what I'm doing here because I'm liking what I'm getting in terms of a flavor profile. Profile, profile easy for me to say. And so that's how I ended up with um, the Rector's blend that I'd sent out to a couple people out in the community to try. Cane Rod was, uh, Cane Rod Piper being one of those. So he did the same thing. He attempted uh, a match at number 10 Downing Street and says it's not all that great of a match, but it's a good tobacco. It's a nice blend anyway. So I look forward to trying that. In fact, what I wanna do is set aside maybe an afternoon when I've got some time and, and try those, uh, pairing them, seeing uh, how close they are to each other. But now number three of these samples, these three samples he gave me, this is the one that is very intriguing and which I cannot wait to give a try to let me see if I can show it to you one more time it's wrapped up rather nicely in there see that but listen to this he calls this Bunsen burner and some of you are probably familiar with this because you follow his channel if not I'll put the information down in the cellar and you should check him out uh, he says this is the pressed blend I made from 515 RC1 Perique and black Cavendish that was subject of my recent experiments with tobacco video this is gonna be good i'll be very interested to get your thoughts on this one it is a bit high on the perique scale and i'm okay with that but i think the cavities and the press have mellowed it nicely man this is just mouth watering because number one i am a big fan of that rc1 okay number two when you start cranking up the perique to give it some of that mmm that mm, mm good, right? That spiciness and such. Uh, and then you kind of attempt to control for that robustness that it's going to offer you where it's not overly biting or spicy, I guess would be a better term, by throwing a little bit of cavendish in it and then pressing that and allowing all that to meld and marry. This sounds like he's on to something good with his tobacco experimentation. So I am blessed, my friend, that you have included me uh, in your thoughts and offering a little bit of a sample for this of this uh, wonderful concoction for me to try. And he closes out by saying, I hope that you enjoy trying these blends and feel free to pass along anything that you don't like. God bless. King Rod Piper. Well, not going to be selfish, but I'm not passing along any of this stuff either because I'm going to probably enjoy all of it. And uh, again, thank you, Kane Rod Piper, for that. All right. Uh, I said I was going to keep it short and sweet. I want to say hello to all my subscribers out there. I have noticed that I am approaching or somewhere near or maybe I've already reached 
uh, 2,000 subscribers and I have been giving thought to some sort of tribute uh, to my uh, subscribers and friends out there with a with some sort of gaw. I don't know what that's going to be yet, but I do want to thank you. Uh, each of you uh, have literally made that 2K possible and uh, I thank you for that. And I'll tell you, and don't take this the wrong way please YTPC. I was talking to someone just the other day about the gaw and and possibly even just giving my channel away. <laughs> I know that sounds odd. Um, not because I dislike it, but uh, just the opposite. I love this community so much. And um, sometimes I feel like um, it's just difficult to keep up with everything in the YTPC. And so, um, you know, I don't let the channel stress me or anything like that, but I thought, well, that would be unique. You know, give it up. Maybe take a year off from making videos and just be a lurker for a little bit and let somebody else, you know, inherit 2,000 subscribers. And, you know, I would transition them over and, and such. I don't know, I haven't ruled that out. It, it was, you know, definitely thinking outside the box. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll just put it out there. I don't know. But I'll probably will do something, some sort of giveaway, uh, just um, in an effort to attempt to say thank you to, uh, to all of you who make this community what it is. And uh, in particular, thank you to the 2,000 subscribers. I don't, still don't get it. I'm humbled. Uh, I'm awed by it. I say thank you. I don't know why. I don't know what you keep coming here for, but um, I don't think it gets any better. <laughs> but thank you. You guys are, are some of the greatest people. Um, and uh, I mean that. That's heartfelt. So that's that. I'm going to sign off for now. I did say I was going to try and keep it um, on the shorter end today. Uh, quick shout out to Kane Rod Piper. Thank you, my friend. And um, to all of my subscribers, again, a big thank you to you as well. Padre Piper, wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings.